What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. I want to say hello to anyone new if this is your first time tuning in, and for all of my returning viewers, okay? Let me give a warm shout out to all of my BFFs out there. So, you guys, this is going to be your Scorpio horoscope, March the 13th through the 14th, you guys, okay? So if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you are interested in a reading, I am running a special on my readings right now. All the information you need to know about those specials will be in the description box below, okay? Along with my email address, but I have my Love Readings 25, Career, Money, and Finance 30, and Twin Flame 35, okay? So let's get into it, Scorpio, your horoscope for March the 13th through the 14th okay so some of you guys could be experiencing some unsettling times okay this means that there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding a situation here march the 13th through the 14th okay and spirit is wanting you to plan ahead here so this is giving me the energy of like don't put all your eggs in one basket but plan ahead just in case something doesn't work out okay i feel like during these unsettling times you could be feeling very tied down or frustrated okay so this could be dealing with work this can be a home situation this could be with your money this could be a relationship but there's some uncertainty around the situation okay and because i feel like there hasn't been any forward movement or at least the pace or movement that you've been wanting to see you know you feel very frustrated you feel like that you're not going to get ahead in a situation here okay and some of you guys could be in need of help now that's why that card came out never mind let me take this back okay so that's why this card came out okay we have pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone okay so i feel like some of us scorpio can be very prideful and what i mean by that is we are very independent men and women being scorpios but sometimes our pride and i had to realize this myself because i didn't know that you know a lot of scorpios we don't like to ask for help and i had to sit there and realize the spirit had to show me that there's nothing wrong with being independent there's nothing wrong with wanting to do things on your own but everybody needs a little help sometime okay and sometimes scorpio we can be a little prideful when we put ourselves and i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna give you a situation when you find yourself in a situation or something where you know it had you just reached out and told somebody what was going on or you know asked for some help you wouldn't have been in the place that you were in that's what i'm talking about okay now some of us i understand some of you guys you have no one to turn to, I understand that, but for the ones that you could have asked someone, you know at least one person that might have would have helped you, okay? That's that pride I'm talking about. So for some of you, this could be talking about maybe just talking to someone, opening up, okay? Maybe sharing what's going on with them and then maybe getting someone else's point of view or opinion to help you through a situation, okay? So this could be you or someone that you're dealing with could be in need of some type of assistance. Now, I feel like you have your spirit team with you, assisting you, especially during these unsettling times and this energy of uncertainty, okay? So you will be surrounded by spiritual love. This means Holy Spirit, your spirit guides, your ancestors will be surrounding you during this time that you feel very tied down, that you feel frustrated about a situation. Now, I feel like for some of you, the energy of why you're feeling this way is because you've been like this bird perched. You know, you've been waiting for some type of news. You've been waiting for a package. You've been waiting for a letter, okay? For some of you, this a letter I'm hearing is like some type of approval. Letter, you've been waiting to hear some news. Like, did you get the job? Did you get this house? Did you get this apartment? Are you going to be able to do this? Did you get the loan? You know, did you? this is what you're waiting on. And I feel like, you know, you figured by now you would have heard something, you know, but there hasn't been a lot of movement. And this situation right here I'm talking about, Scorpio, is really out of your hand. You have no control over what's going to happen in the future. 
Now, let's get into a little good news here, okay? For some of you, March the 13th through the 14th, baby, you can be receiving compliments from a secret admirer, okay? So pay attention to any man or woman, Scorpio, that, you know, give you nice compliments. Now, I ain't talking about the same old compliments you get from, you know, regular people. I'm talking about somebody out the blue that just give you a compliment. You be like, well, hold on now. You know, thank you, but hold on, what's your name, okay? <laughs> now, we also have growth, Scorpio. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I feel like for some of you, this energy of uncertainty, you feeling tied down or frustrated is because it's like you're stuck. You're stuck and you got this tunnel vision. It's like you're not expanding your consciousness. You're not looking at the bigger picture here, okay? So let's look at growth right quick. You are constantly being presented with situations that enable you to develop your inner wisdom and assist you in advancing into higher levels of understanding. This lesson is to be aware of these events and to recognize them and what they are for. So I feel like for some of you, there's like a certain situation or something that you're going through, but it's a reason why you're going through this, okay? This kind of reminds me of the horoscope I did for Monday, you know, for your weekly, like something's going to be revealed on why you had to go through this particular situation, okay? To live a mindful life is not only about respecting and honoring those around you, but it's also about recognizing every person and circumstance on your path as a teacher. Some of you guys, that's good at what's being revealed to you. Some of you guys, you were put in a situation because you were teaching and you didn't even know that the things that you were doing, that you were help, you were being a helper, you were assisting, you were guiding someone else on their journey, okay? So some of you, it's a particular situation that you were put in, put you in a certain place for a reason because they wanted you to be an example to other people. Thank you, Spirit. For some of you, I think I might have revealed some of that shit for you, okay? Excuse me, y'all. Because I talked about just the other day, you know, that there's been a situation some of you didn't understand why you were put through this. And I feel like for some of you, the reason why you're probably at a workplace, you've been feeling tired down and frustrated at a certain job, you've been trying your best, to get away from around certain people it could be somewhere where you stay it could be anything and it's because you were supposed to be an example for some people you know a lot of times scorpio it's not all about our journey like our journey scorpio spirit put us in other people's lives to be a part of their journey you know what i'm saying it's not all about who is a part of our journey a lot of us are supposed to be a part of other people's journey as well okay and that's only when you attain a high level of spirituality okay Thank you, Spirit. It is also about recognizing people and their circumstances on the path as your teacher, okay? And you were supposed to be a teacher here. The constant chatter and the versions of life on earth can distract you from the sign, the signals that Spirit has left on your path. Take the time to be aware of the beautiful wisdom that has been laid before you. Acknowledge these gifts and take them to the heart as you continue to as you continue on your journey in this physical dimension, don't look for the opportunities that you think you need. Instead, be receptive to the opportunities that you are given here, okay? All right, so some numbers, synchronicities you can be seeing. March the 13th through the 14th, we have 1111. This is a sign of manifestation, okay? For some of you that, that have this energy of uncertainty, you haven't felt any movement or anything around the situation, you feel tied down and frustrated, time to manifest like i stated earlier for some of you guys okay all this is time together come on through spirit if you haven't checked out that first horoscope i did on monday go check it out because this is like a part two i feel of this okay so i'll make sure i try to do these i'm gonna give y'all a weekly but then in between the weekly i still give y'all some daily or every other day as well okay but i feel like this is a situation if you're feeling tired down and frustrated like I stated before, some of you guys are powerful manifestors and you were put in a particular situation because Spirit wanted you to see how powerful you are. You praying about being able to lead this job, lead a certain place, maybe your living environment or whatever it is, that's you manifesting. You praying your, because your spirit guides the universe here, especially when you're crying out, when you're crying out for help, you're crying because you, you feel so... Ooh, what's the word? You feel so hopeless in a situation like things are not going to get any better. You know what I'm saying? That's when the universe hear you. But they just wanted to teach you and show you how powerful of a manifester you are, okay? And now it's time for you to go within and reflect, okay? So March the 13th through the 14th, you could be seeing 1111 a lot, or you can be seeing the number 666 because Spirit is wanting you to reflect on this information that you just heard and then look at the bigger picture and think about everything that you went through and think about 
do you think that you were put in this situation? Even though, and a lot of times, Scorpio, we don't understand the shit until we out of it. While we're in the midst of the storm, it's hard for us to understand the bigger picture. But a lot of times when we get on the other side, we could be like, oh, okay now, Spirit. So I feel like there's a situation now that you're dealing with. And it was hard for you to understand. You just like, Lord, why did you do this to me? Like, I, is this punishment, Lord? Like, why did you do this to me? But it's like Spirit just wanted you to understand that you, how powerful you are by manifesting, but also that you've grown a lot spiritually here, okay? A lot of you have grown a lot spiritually, and because of that, they're using you to lead by example here, Scorpio. So some of you guys, that's the truth I feel like I revealed to some of you. You were put in a certain situation that was not easy. It made you very uncomfortable, but you were put there to lead by example, and it's possibly not going to be until you're away from that situation that you're going to see how people really were watching you, you know what I'm saying? But watching you in a good way, okay? All right, you guys. So we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, roll the dice and see because this could be talking about a particular person as well. So let's roll and see who this could be about. I love you, Scorpio. So we got heavy Scorpio, Capricorn, Cancer. Ooh, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Taurus. Heavy Scorpio energy. All right, heavy Pisces, Cancer, and Leo. I love you guys. And until next time, stay blessed.